You know, if it makes you feel any better, you're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. I mean, I assume you went through a breakup. At least that's my best guess at this stage. She's really trying to figure, huh? His wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. And Sharon, whose boyfriend, had his own boyfriend. Hilarious. Maybe you boned the neighbor. Maybe she boned the neighbor. Maybe you both did. I don't judge. And if you ever want to talk breakups, I'm your gal. We didn't break up. We didn't choose to break up. She got sick. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. She really wants to know our story, huh? And I'm really out here trying to avoid it. I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. I swear to God, if this breaks, I'm gonna fucking just quit the game. Like, alright, well, this wasn't meant to be. Hey. Okay, so, where I wanna go next is to my left. There was a little uh, rock climb, rock scale, right here. I still have ropes, oh my god. He wasn't kidding, he fucking, whole backpack full of ropes. Another really steep uh, slide down. All right, so I can hit cache 309 on the way and then enter Five Mile Creek to find that campfire. And I'm losing daylight. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. keep wanting to hit shift to run, but it's not. I thought about switching it. It really doesn't matter all that much. this how many hikers go missing in the Shoshone more than none unfortunately with most of them being in this area the thoroughfare because it's so remote why I found an old flyer for a missing hiker it just got me thinking that's all like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine he was just a PTSD day hole who dragged his son out to do a job and Realize it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Missing person. Name Mitchell, or sorry, Mitch Michaels. Age 31, height 6'2", weighs about 165 pounds. Short brown hair, identifying features, distinctive facial hair. General info. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981 by for Forest Service personnel. He's not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location, Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1981. 
vehicle vehicle info 1972 Ford F250 blue and white uh Montana license 28-07326 if you have seen contacted them or have more info please contact Sh uh, Shoshone National Force Dispatch at 307-555-6241 all right let's uh keep going up ahead Only for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? No way. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Jesus. Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Literally just as I walked up to the stream, she had said that too. It's pretty much I can follow the stream is what she's saying. Not like I can see the smoke much now anyways. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm like, I'm not up to it yet, am I? It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. There's something it was going to ask me to report on. Fucking game keeps trolling me. It's like, uh, uh, here I am. site and it looks like they've got a fire is it them that seems like it i swear they must have dragged four cases of beer out here track them down and don't let them see you what a job this is i have entered the teen zone oh really and where's that it's the name of a magazine for girls it's on the ground here at their camp Found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. Hilarious. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Tent looks like it's been through the shredder. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. There's a note there. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Dear Psycho, here, let me read it like this. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped us, creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. 
Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Day three. What a crazy, crazy experience, that's for sure. Find boards downstairs, the patch window. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? <clears throat> Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. A jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know. I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh. Hmm. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They're, uh, they're steely. Cold, hard stare. Hmm... like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. She's just drawing up a wanted poster. <laughs> Fuck. In before. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Wanted to have a quick look around first. Hmm. 
Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Day nine. We just jumped ahead, huh? Oof. All right. Out here in day 172. Still haven't seen any uh any signs of life. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? I guess that's me, huh? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. I didn't do anything to them. What about their camp? That wasn't me, you know that. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Of course, they're missing. Day 15, oof. We're really just running through this now, huh? Henry? Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. The hell? Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. The hell was that? Day 33. Maybe we were the ones with dementia. That's what I'm starting to think. Hike north to retrieve supplies. Is it supplies. too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Goddamn. Got a burned tree there. Alright, let's uh, jog towards the supply cache. Hey, so... Who's Jules? I, I don't mean to pry. It's just, um... Uh, she's... Wait, did I tell you about her? Uh, no. Not exactly. Then, how... Oh, 
couple of weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night, and you were, I guess, talking in your sleep? I only heard the name Julia, so I figured I'd ask. It's hard to talk about. You don't have to. It's hard because, well, I, I fucked up. We all fuck up. But being out here can't be some sort of punishment for you. She got really early Alzheimer's and I lost her. She's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's, she's there. Oh my God, Henry. And that's it. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Henry, listen. I, oh my God, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. I, I don't know if you've thought of it this way, but her family is taking care of her, and you need to take care of you. Thanks. I'll let you keep hiking. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? It's hilarious. Oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. I was trying to check the map so I could see what this is covering. So it's blocking Rapidi Meadow. Okay. Interesting. Let's keep going to that supply cache. We need the uh, supplies. Or else we're gonna die. We'll probably be pretty hungry though. Do I really have to go up there? I guess so, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Alright. Go on. Back that way. I can actually maybe call out the ropes that are hanging from up there. Every time I whip around. Throw a feral looker, that's Delilah's tower. Okay. That's what I kept seeing. I was wondering what the hell I was seeing when I was coming up on that tent. So just a little bit further, and I'll hit the supply draw. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. We're two forks, right? Yeah. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day 64.
Oh god. I've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm going to call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? The Flapjack yeah, Fire. Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. What a pyro. Jesus. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? I have to yawn. That's not fair. Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios. We could, um... You know... Well, we could just watch this fire. It's gonna burn for a long time. Day 76. Sexual tension is building. <laughs> Who will bust first? Find out now. Jesus. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. <laughs> problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. <laughs> Come on, please. I love that answer. Problem bear? Fuck that. I can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Uh, that's the funniest thing that yeah, I've read yeah, all day. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, I think this is a good place to end it here. Day 76, I believe it was. It's a couple minutes to um to the point at which I was going to end it anyways. And then that way I can come in into a fresh day. Uh, I'm going to be recording like back-to-back -back anyways. So, thankfully, it's not going to be one of those things where I don't know where I'm going to be picking up. But, anyways, oh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And say comment down below. Don't subscribe and share. It helps me out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.